Anin Buju Ginoa Minoa Nishinabe Dug Ojibwe Language Table with West Jordan Lesson number twenty eight Anin in Dusso de Baigunik What time is it? Part three So from previous lessons number twenty six we've uh, went through our clock we learned how to uh, tell the time using our hours um, from midnight uh, one all the way to, to 12 o'clock noon again we learned how to say noon and midnight and uh, that was lesson 26 27 we spent a little time talking about our minutes and uh, using the uh, using jibwa which means before and uh, ishqua after so um, we gave us examples of that in lesson 27. So now we're here in lesson 28. And I want to say miigwech piyajayik o manungam. Thank you guys for coming on here today. And we're going to look at um, part three. We're going to ask questions. And we're going to ask some questions and uh, learn how to respond using our, uh, our uh, anina p questions. And then we're going to respond using our time. So like always, first and foremost, Ojibwe introduction, self intro time. Anin Buju Akinawea, West Jordan Indigenous, Gitaga Benesi Indigo, Megizi Nindu Dame, Musqua Gamewe Zagai Gunning Nindu Njiba, Ga Asinitsa Kog Nindu Oma Nungum. And so we have. A uh, little review like I was talking about. Anin in daso de bai gunik. Anin meaning what? In daso a certain number de bai gunit. A certain time in hours. And so when we use the D de bai gunit, we're saying it is blank o'clock. When you use the K, it's kind of like future tense or past tense at that time. Okay. At uh, ningo, ingo to buy gun egg at one o'clock. Okay, so we're gonna use um, our to buy guns again using our minutes. Jibwa, ishqua, and jibwa is before, ishqua is after. And I think I color coded everything again. I'm not too sure. We'll look look at it when we get to that spot. And today, here's some new vocabulary we're gonna see. Oh, there's our minutes. Go through that real quick. If you want to, you can pause here and learn how to say those ones again or go back to lesson 27. And then we went through 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes and 27. And here's our new ones today. We're going to learn Anina P. Anina P. When? Okay. Another way to say that. And, uh, and these are common in some areas you your your community might use anin your community might use anish okay anina p anisha p anina p anisha p either one means when okay and we're going to stick our we and wa our future tense markers in these words along with gi and ga and you're going to see different uh, um, examples of these tense markers used. In a uh, previous lesson, we I don't recall which one, but back when we talked about uh, gi and ga, we and wa, using uh, uh, you know present uh, uh, past tense in talking about future tense, we put these words in the in the front of our uh, what we're talking about. So. Here we go, excuse me. So, our first one is up here. Anisha P. Wa ma da kamiguk ni imi ni eating. Anisha P. Wa ma da kamiguk ni imi eating. What time does the Powell start? And um, this one, you know, we, we, it's been so long since we've had Powells or celebrations or gatherings. Um, you know, it might, we might need a reminder, 
of how uh, when Apollo starts, maybe we forgot that it starts at one o'clock a majority of times, but Anisha P. Wa Mada Kamiguk Nimi Eating. What time does the power start? And so we're going to say one o'clock. Real simple. Ningo de Bai Gunnik. Ningo de Bai Gunnik at one o'clock. And so when we we ask this question to someone, Anisha P. Wa Mada Kamiguk Nimi Eating. We ask that question. We're not always going to say the Powell starts at one o'clock. Okay. No one's going to repeat that. Maybe they do sometimes, but uh, more, more often times than none, they're going to just repeat, just, they're just going to say the time. Okay. Oh, what time's the Powell start? And someone's not going to respond. Oh, the Powell starts at one. Then they're just more, more or less just going to say, Oh, Ningo Tapai Gunnik. It starts at, it's at one o'clock. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, a lot of these don't, are not going to have the full response um, when someone's responding to the question. So um, cool thing to keep in mind. You know, you don't always have to put the power is at 1 p.m. You can just say 1 p.m. Because that's just normal talk for some people. Okay. So that word again, I, I, I'm practicing it myself because I just learned this word here uh, yesterday. Anisha P wa ma da kamiguk ni mi eding. Ma da kamiguk is a, um, it starts, something starts. And so we put our wa here when we're asking Anisha P when. Wa is our future tense marker, will. Uh, ma da kamiguk uh, is the starting when it starts. And ni mi eding is the, the, the dance, the power. Okay. So that's kind of how that one breaks down. All right, next one. Here's one that one of my favorites. I always uh, like this one, so I wanted to put this one on here. Anina piwa shunding. Anina piwa a shunding. And notice that first one we used Anisha P. This one here you can put Anisha P too, or you can just put say Anin a P. Anina Piwa Shunding, when is the feast? Okay, so you're asking about the power, you're asking about the feast, and you can say 12 p.m. And all the only word that you need to say is now a quick. Now a quick. And now a quay, the word now a quay means uh, noon. Okay. When we add the G, or it could be a K, depending on your community, you're going to hear now a quig at. That G or K at the end makes it at. Okay, so we have now a quig at noon. Okay, so remember this ending here has a lot to do with um, um, how you can respond to one of these words. Anina piwa shunding. Now a quig. Now a quig noongum, or you can say noongum now a quig noon today. Okay, 12 o'clock. Moving on. Anina P. Gajayan Odenang. Anina P. Gajayan Odenang. When did you go to town? Okay, again, we look up here. Anin a P. When? Ga. Uh, Past tense. Ija means to go somewhere. Yun is uh, um, talking about you. Okay, Odena is town. And then the NG at the end makes it at town or the, the locative of that word. So, Anina P. Ga Ijaan Odena. When did you go to town? And say you went uh, at this time. Ingi Ija. Jibwa now a quig. Ingiya Jibwa now a quig. I went before noon. Okay. Ingi, I did something in the past. I past tense. Ija, 
go somewhere. Here she goes somewhere. So I went. Jibwa means before. Now a quick noon. Okay. Ingi isha jibwa. Now a quick. I went before noon. And as you can see, I use this time up here as an example. 11.57 a.m. It could be any time before noon. If you're just saying this uh, jibwa now a quick. And I threw this in here to practice jibwa and ishqua using a, a answer as an answer. So here we go. You're going to see future tense now. Ani na pi wa ishayan o deinang. Ani na pi when wa ishayan will or are you going to town? And I use this time for an example to show that it's after 12 or afternoon. Ni wi ja ishqua nawa quick. Ni wi ja ishqua nawa quick. I'm going after noon. Ani na pi wa jayan o deinang. Ni wi ja ishqua nawa quick. Ni wi, I am going to. Isha, here she goes. I am going to go. Ishqua after. Now a quick noon. I'm going after noon. Okay. All right. So we're going to see a past tense and we're going to see a future tense on these next ones. Anina P. Ga ma jayan. Anina P. When? Ga. Past tense. Ma ja means to leave. And yun is uh, asking you. Yun is you. Okay. If I said Anina P ga ma ja yan, I would be saying, when did I leave? Okay, double A at the end here is talking about I. But if it's just one N, it's talking about you. Anina P ga ma ja yan. Anina P ga ma ja yan. When did you leave? You might ask somebody. And if you left at three o'clock, you tell someone, Ingi maja niso de baigunik. Ingi maja niso de baigunik. Okay, so we're bringing our times into this. I left at three o'clock. Ingi, I, past tense. Maja, here she leaves. I left. Niso de baigunik at three o'clock. Okay, remember our G or K ending uh, makes it at. This will the by gunic at three o'clock. Anina Pika Ma Jayan. Uh Ingi Maja and this the by gunic. I left at three o'clock. Okay. So take time with these and practice them. Uh, you'll see a pattern in uh in our words when we when we practice, when we go back and we look in uh so this is past tense. You're going to see a future tense one now. Anina P wa ma jayan. Anina P wa ma jayan. Notice we used wa talking about future tense. Anina P, Anisha P. Anisha P wa ma jayan. When are you leaving? You can ask this to somebody and say you're going to leave at 3 o'clock and we'll just stick with 3 o'clock. Because that was our past tense. Ni we maja nisu de baigunik. Ni we maja nisu de baigunik. I'm going to leave at three o'clock. Okay, so ni we, I um, will, want, or I'm going to. Maja, here he leaves. So I'm going to leave. Nisu de baigunik. At three o'clock. Niwe maja niso de baigunik. I'm going to leave at three o'clock. All right. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Anisha P. Ga P. Dagoshin. Anisha P. Ga P. Dagoshin. When did you arrive? And I think you can put Oma. Okay. Anisha P. Ga P. Dagoshin Oma. When did you arrive here? And if you want to tell them, oh, but quarter after four, 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 fifteen, you say, Ingi Tagoshin, a Shinano de Baigans. 
And then I forgot on this one here, and I already see a mistake on here. And uh, so we say, Ingi Tagoshin Ashinano de Baigans Ishqua Neo de Baiganic. Okay, so let me let me uh, see if I can put this in text here. Uh, Ishqua Neo. Deba Ekanik. Okay. So this should be the next sentence on here. And I'm real fortunate that I know a little bit about technology and I can just correct it on the fly. I could go back into the PowerPoint and do it too. But this is simpler. Ingi Tagoshin Ashinano de Baigans Ishquanio de Baiganik. Okay. And uh, let's see if I can get back to my board here. Oh, there it is right there. I had it in there the whole time. Ingi Tagoshin Ashinano de Baigans Ishkwanio de Baiganik. And let's see. I'm going to clear that. All right. So I didn't have to do it after all. Um, I arrived 15 minutes after 4 o'clock. Anisha Piga Pitagoshino Ma. When did you get here? Ingi Tagoshin Ashinano de Baigan Tishkwa Nio de Baiganik. Okay, I arrived here at uh, quarter after 4 or 15 minutes after 4 o'clock. Ingi, I did something. Tagoshin, we have consonant vowel change. From D to T, and we've learned that in past uh, um, Ojibwe language table videos, lessons. So, Ingi Tagoshin, I arrived. Ashinano de Baigans, 15 minutes. Ishwa after. Neo de Baiganik, 4 o'clock. Okay. Ingi Tagoshin, Ashinano de Baigans, Ishwa Neo de Baiganik. And it's a mouthful. And, uh, you know, with practice, with practice, you say a word, go to the next one, say that word, and say that word, back up and do it again, back up and do it again. That process of repetition is how we retain our Ojibwe language, okay? And I, I tell this to my students a lot, and, and they kind of nag me sometimes. They say, we already heard that. You already said that, teacher. And, uh, but, you know, for me, to uh, teach my students repetition, you know, that's what's going to keep them, keep their, uh, their memory going in their, in, you know, in their brains. And when they hear these Ojibwe words again, somewhere down the line, they'll say, oh yeah, teacher was repeating that that one day. And uh, that's why he was doing that. Now I know, now I remember. So even for adults or whoever watches these videos too, it's a good thing to repeat, okay? Anisha P. Wa B. Tagoshin. Anisha P. Wa B. Tagoshin Ima. You can say Ima, okay? Oma here, Ima there, okay? When will you arrive there? 4.15, again, we're going to use that for an example. Ni we Tagoshin. Ashinano de Baigans Ishqua Neo de Baiganik. Okay. Ni we Tagoshin. I will arrive. Ashinano de Baigans. 15 minutes. Ishqua. After. 4 o'clock. Neo de Baiganik. Anisha Piwa bi Tagoshin Imma. When will you arrive there? And then you can give this time. Niwi Tagoshin Ashinano, the Baigans, Ishkwa Nil, the Baiganik. Hey, and that's it. Real, real, uh, kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of a lot of wordage. And so I kind of kept it short for everybody. And uh, go back, go back and watch, rewatch some of these. Um, say them, repeat them after me, write them down, write them down. And then uh, go about your business in a day. Um, in the evening time, pick up your notebook and look at it again. You know, oh, yeah, that's what 
that's what that, you know, it's kind of, it's starting to click now, it's starting to make sense. And so a lot of, a lot of, like I said before, and, um, you know, repetition is key to uh, um, learning Ojibwe language, whether you're repeating it orally, whether you're repeating it like uh, Bart Simpson on the, on the chalkboard, and you're repeating what, you know, you have to do this, you Bart Simpson is in trouble and he's got to write so many things a hundred times. And uh, I'm not telling you to do it a hundred times, write it out once, go back to it, look at it later, say it again. And then you're in your mind throughout the day. Think of these words, the bygones minutes. How can I put the numbers in front of the minute word? Um, the bygone, the bygone time. The bygonic at that time. You know, then you're thinking Jibwa. Jibwa before. Ishqua after. Okay. So think of these words throughout the day too. Also, it helps you to remember what they mean. And um with that, Miguich Bizindawiak, Miguich Kikanawabun the Meg, uh Miguich B Jaegomanungam. Thank you guys for coming today. Um Gigawaba Min in Nim Minawa. So in name is the more than one person. I will see you guys again on uh, future episodes of Ojibwe Language Table with Wes Jordan. Aham. Gigwabman.